and with one last check of the SST charts and the sun setting, we settled in for our first night of sword fishing. Running yeah, they run. You can just yeah, tell the broad will run. It's running. <laughs> well, as you can see, we're now fishing into the night. We've only been going probably about, wouldn't be over an hour now. We've got our first bite. Now this fish has taken the deep bait, it's taken the squid. So there is a good chance, maybe a little chance, definitely a chance that it's a swordfish. If it comes up and jumps, we'll be a lot happier. If not, no, and Vic, it's a bloody blue shark, but we'll find out soon enough. <laughs> Bit of weight on it. It's a bit of solid. little thing. They started off a bit of night, but... See, and that's what we're waiting, you know? It's a pretty night. typical shark thing. Though, just, it is, it's a bit sharkish, isn't it? But anyway. But you, you never know. You can always wind it up and when it comes up the top, it could be something totally different. We're all hoping it's got a sword. You're right with that. Do you want to swap all the gear over or, because that's... Yeah, yeah, just get the gear going. Swap that one over with that one. Okay, what we're doing now is We've still got the other lines out, but this fish has gone down, it's sitting under the boat. So we're just gonna pull forward and get off it a bit. Just come forward a sec. How's that? Better angle? Sweep that one over with that one. Okay, what we're doing is, we don't know what it is, as we were saying before, we're really not sure. And at night, could be anything down there. Could be a foul hook swordfish, it could be a big, big blue shark, you don't know. So what we're doing is, we've got the gaffs out, because if it is a swordfish, we're taking it home to eat. So we're ready, because it might just pop up and we don't know what it is, and suddenly it's a great big sword. We've got no gear ready to pin it. So be prepared. So Mick's getting everything sorted now, so we can have a look when it comes up. If it's the right stuff, you beauty. If it's a shark or something, we'll just cut her off and let her go. We'll find out soon enough, hopefully. Clear body, silver, looking reasonable. Stick with no, a gonna jump. Sword. Jump, 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 jump. Through, you always think it's not a shark. It's never been through. That's a good point. It hasn't bitten it off. We're on mono. It's not a tuna circle. It's not a tuna circle. As the battle wore on, we're still unsure yeah. of what we're actually like fighting. Going our stomachs with the swordfish. Get the colour. I cannot look. I saw the silver. Well, we got it up close for a while and as you can hear this little baby's gone way back down. So I still have no idea what it is. Fingers crossed still, keep saying it, but I'm praying. Hopefully it'll be soon. If it's purple, everyone on board will be cheering. If it's brown, it's going down. If it's brown, it's down. At night, it's hard to see what's going on, so it really is important for the skipper and the angler to communicate. Nice long fight, nice big fish. It's a lot harder to fight them at night, you can't see anything. I see a bit of colour there now. There's a uh, wind on. Very sharkish there now. Can't see. That's a trace. Just don't want to pull too hard if it's the right. Are you sure? I think it's a swordfish. Swordfish, get the gas. Get the gas, go forward. Get another gas. Get another gaff down. 
Get another gaff. Another gaff. Get a gaff. Get the big Pull him towards you a bit. Stick it over him. Stick it. Got him. Oh yeah! Next one. Fixed head. Take as long to get the first one. Oh, no, that is sensational. Have a look at that. <laughs> Woohoo! Mate, we put yeah. the hours in, we dreamt about it, had a few nightmares about him, but not this time. He's in the boat! Oh. Woohoo! You can see, look at the size of this eye on this baby. And what we thought before was we had he'd eaten two baits, and sure enough, the cheeky little bugger had. Have a look at that. Vic's caught one of these way over the other side of Australia, the Rolly Shoals. But to get it in your own back garden, what do you think? <laughs> Unbelievable. Like, I cannot explain how stoked I am. Like just the whole time these two nice gentlemen were telling me how much of a shark it was. Have fish, a go at it. Nice. Yeah. Fish they got shark, blue, shark, blue shark, blue shark, have a go at it. Beautiful. I'll catch them all day if they're blue sharks. You know what I'd say? That's the best blue shark I've seen in a long yeah. time. That is just awesome. Have a go at the iron. That is just a sensational photos. fish. Cool. Let's put some gear out and get some photos. Let's get some photos. I cannot believe it, honestly. We've been talking about it all summer, all last year we talked about it. We just had six weeks of the worst weather. We couldn't get out, we've been frothing, me and Al just going, bringing each other up every second day, talking about Broadville. We've come out here, we've brought all the right gear. We've got the gun captain here. We've got the squid, dropped him down 300 foot. It went off and honestly, I cannot believe that this is what we got. I'm absolutely stoked. Off, uh, we've got the most magical night you've ever seen. Honestly blowing five knots here at the moment and it's just a dream come true. Honestly. I said that twice. Do <laughs> you want to do the sideways one, Hell? I'll finish. Just tell us what to do with the fish, forward or back. Nah, bring the head round towards me if you want. That's it, that's good. Now, if you are lucky enough to get a swordfish, well, there's probably only a handful of people in Australia that actually caught one. Because you've got to come out here in the middle of the night. We've run all the way from 70, 50 miles away to fish out here on this temp break. If you do get one, you've just got to be careful because they've got almost an acidic sort of slime on them. So when you hold them up, as we were doing for the photos as you saw before, you end up burning your hands. So it's probably a good idea to wear some gloves. You'll probably wreck a bit of clothing, but if you get one of these babies, I think it's all right. <laughs> 